Hi everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, today, as usual, another Timu haul. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I want to welcome you to my channel. If you are a new viewer, thank you for joining us. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. Uh, if you are not subscribed, come on, hit that subscribe button down below. It really, really helps out the channel um, and I would appreciate it so much if you are enjoying my content. If you could please um, hit the subscribe button like or dislike comments anything like that everything helps but right now i'm really on a push to try and get my subscriber count up so if anybody is watching that uh, is not subscribed and you enjoy my video please consider subscribing it doesn't cost you anything so like i said uh, another chimu haul everything will be listed down in my description box with links to the item and also my affiliate link and code all right let's get into it <laughs> so today we're starting off with a few jewelry pieces just costume type jewelry the first item I have is this set of seven beaded bracelets I paid 269 for these they are currently 298 they do come in this silver tone that I got or in a gold tone they are just about seven inches in length. Um, I had hoped there was a few of the people in the reviews that said that they were big, but I, I, they're, they're definitely not. I take about an eight inch. I didn't really think that, that they would likely work for me and they don't, they are too small. But my daughter, uh, my oldest daughter likes them so I, I said that she could have them but yeah they're, they're super cute I think that that stacked look is really really pretty and you know for the price you can't really go wrong like yeah they're just they're so pretty when you can wear them all together like that in my opinion so yeah the next item I got is just this paper 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 chip paper clip chain I paid $1.34 for this. It is currently $1.48. It is just made of stainless steel. You can get it in the silver tone that I got or you can also get it uh, in a gold tone. It says it is gold plated but for that price I'd be surprised if it's actual gold. The length of the chain is just I think it was 17.7 inches just under 18 inches. I really do like this style of necklace like I have a I have the Pandora bracelet that's like the paper clip sort of look and I really really like it um, so I do think it's really pretty the comments or reviews multiple said about how beautiful it was and and everything so getting it I was a little bit disappointed I mean I don't know it, it definitely to me I think looks a little on the cheap side but it was cheap so what do I expect right but um, the photos online just it did look a little bit nicer than what it actually is but it's perfectly fine for the price and it being stainless steel it won't tarnish so that's always nice so it is a little short for me for my liking but again I have two daughters so I imagine one of them will uh, scoop it up if I'm not gonna wear it so but yeah it's definitely easy to put on with it being that kind of closure on it but yeah I don't know it's okay I just if it was a little longer maybe I would like it more but yeah the next item I got is a set of nose rings so there is four in here. They are all the same style. They're just various sizes of stone that you get. I paid $2.49 for these and they are still $2.49. This is actually a, a repeat purchase for me. These are available in three different styles. You can get an L-shaped style, 
uh, an S shaped, kind of like a corkscrew shaped, or these straight ones. And previously I had bought the L shaped ones. I was, I'm just new really to having my nose pierced. It was last summer, I think it was, that I got um, my nose pierced. So I'm still fairly new to it. When I bought the last ones, I wasn't really sure what, you know, what's the best style to get. But I thought maybe the L shaped would be best as far as it not like accidentally falling out of my nose. I don't know if that ever happens to anybody, but I thought maybe it might and thought the L shape might be best. But, and I'm not trying to gross anybody out, <laughs> but I got it done. Then winter came and you know, cold season, stuffy noses. Yeah, it's just a little more, metal in there for things to get stuck to so <laughs> I'll leave it at that <laughs> so I decided that I would go ahead and order another set and I would just get the straight ones so I just really like these ones I find that some of the other ones that have the kind of rhinestone on it just aren't very sparkly like the one that I got my nose pierced with was actually supposed to be a Swarovski crystal in it and it wasn't very shiny at all. So I've been wearing a different um, straight one the last little bit, but it also is not shiny. So I like the ones that have a little bit of a sparkle to them. So that's why I got these. And yeah, they're titanium. Um, so yeah, they're great in my opinion and a super price. Next item I got is just a set of salt and pepper shakers. I paid $6.92 for these. Currently, it's $8.97 for these black ones. It is available in nine other colors or color combinations. Um, there's eight other colors where you get the salt and pepper the same color. Or there is one set where you get, I think it's a silver and a black. I'm not sure which one's which, but one silver and one's black. So... A good portion of them are the same price as these, the $8.97, but there was a turquoise blue kind of color that was $7.97, sorry, $7.27. So if you like that color, you can get a bit of, more of a deal by getting that color right now. I really like them. I think they're cute little salt and pepper shakers. They're definitely better quality than I anticipated. It is a glass bottle and then these silver parts are stainless and they are about 4.7 inches tall and about two inches wide. So yeah, I'm super happy with these. Uh, they do have like an S and a P on top, oh, top so that you can tell which one's which as well as it's saying right on it. I mean, ideally I probably would have preferred it without salt and pepper written on it, but you know, it's fine. Definitely good quality, definitely think they're worth the price. The next item I got is just these car registration folders. It was a set of two. I paid $3.59 for the two of these. They are currently $4.04. They were only available in the black color on the listing that I bought them from. I don't know. I know there's different styled ones that I saw on Timu that had different colors, but as far as the ones that are like this, I only saw black. So it is about 5.3 inches wide and about 4.7 inches tall, which I honestly, I was surprised when I got these. When I was initially looking at them, I was thinking that they were probably similar to the one, like a folder that we already have that we got from our insurance agent. And that one is probably only about, you know, this size, slightly bigger than like a credit card size. It is made of the same sort of plasticky material, but this has like cardboard in it, so it is good and sturdy, and it's significantly bigger than the other, and then it does have two clear pockets on either side and Velcro closure on it. So yeah, I, I was thinking they were overpriced for uh, what I paid, thinking because I was thinking I was getting just this flimsy plastic folder that was you know significantly smaller but yeah when I when I got them and saw what they were actually like I, I definitely think they are 
worth that price so I just we only had that one folder and it's in my old car and when I got my new car I just didn't have one so it's just my right my uh, car registration and insurance slips are just kind of thrown in my glove compartment so I just wanted to have something to uh, put them in and keep them organized and make it easy to find them if I need them you know if I get pulled over by a cop <laughs> I don't get pulled over I'm a good driver <laughs> the next couple of items are home decor type items the first item is this little ornament. I paid $10.24 for this. I did get a couple of price adjustments. The current price for it is $8.74. It's available in six different colors or designs. Some of them are just a color and some of them have like an actual design on them. And the price varies depending on which one you pick. So three of them are currently $8.74, uh, including the one that I got, which is Apparently, they call it apricot. They call everything apricot. Anything that's like not white is apricot for some reason. Um, but anyway, this one was $8.74 and there's two others that are $8.74. And then there are three that are currently $10.14. So this is five and a half inches wide at the base and about three inches tall. It is smaller than I thought it was going to be. Quality wise, I think it's great. I was expecting bigger. I didn't really think about the fact that it's kind of, you know, on an angle and that the five and a half inches would be in reference to just the bottom part. I don't know. I just, I just expected it to be a bit bigger, but uh, I do like it. I think it's good quality. I think it is worth the price. I just would probably have preferred a slightly bigger one because there are some sellers on Timu that have bigger ones and I'm not even sure like what way would you display it I guess in the picture on the listing it's like this um so yeah I don't know <laughs> I kind of like it better that way I think but anyway so it's cute good quality it's kind of this one is kind of like a speckled sort of finish to it so really pretty the next item I got is this pack, two pack of faux eucalyptus garland. I paid $7.99 for the two pieces. Currently it is $9.01. You can also get a set of four for $12.70 or a set of six for $17.62. I have not completely opened this up. Uh, it is uh, supposed to be 70 inches in length. So that's, you know, it's pretty long. I am a bit disappointed in this. It is nice quality, but the listing had said it was big eucalyptus leaves, and I don't consider these big. I consider that pretty tiny. I mean, a leaf on it is smaller than like a fingernail. Like, I don't know. I just was expecting them to maybe be about an inch in diameter or something, as opposed to, I don't even know if they be, these would be half an inch. It is good quality. I just, I'm not sure what to do with it because I know on Timu they have pre-made wreaths that you can buy, but I think a lot of them look really plasticky, at least in the pictures. So I had thought maybe if I went ahead and bought this garland, I could make my own, maybe use like a grapevine wreath or, or something and, and make my own. So it's just not quite what I was expecting when I ordered it. I will probably try and make it work because I was going to add some other faux flowers or leaves or something to it anyway. So honestly, I think it looks nicer on camera than it does in person. But <laughs> yeah, they're, they're good quality. I do think that the fake, the faux flowers and stuff on Timu are good quality for the prices that you pay certainly better than michael's prices that's for sure it's just like i said if it hadn't said right in the listing that it was big eucalyptus leaves maybe i wouldn't have been as disappointed but it did so the little leaves were kind of disappointing the next item that's also a little bit of a disappointment <laughs> it is this glass vase with artificial flowers in it I paid $13.19 for this. I did get a price adjustment. The current price is $13.19. It is available in four different colors. 
I got the pink color. It is also available in white, a purple and green color. And it indicates it's supposed to be like faux roses and peonies. Uh, there's definitely more than just that. In fact, I don't know what one, I guess maybe this is the, supposed to be the rose. And I have no idea. They did, to me, that's, this looks more like maybe a chrysanthemum. This is more like a hydrangea. So, yeah. It doesn't really matter. I, I, I thought they looked nice in the picture, so what flowers they're supposed to be doesn't really matter to me, but... It is supposed to be uh, nine inches tall and about nine inches wide. I could fluff this out a bit more, I guess. Like it does have a bit of a zip tie on it. So if I took that apart, it probably would, you know, fill out a bit more, but it's definitely wouldn't be nine inches wide as it stands right now. I think, I think it's a little, I don't know. I, th I sometimes I think I'm out of loop as far as prices of things. I feel like it could have been cheaper. I, I feel like, you know, maybe nine, nine, ten dollars. But anyway, I do like it. I will keep it. Hopefully uh, it will open up more if I take that uh, zip tie off. Maybe I'll add some of the eucalyptus from that garland into it or add something else to kind of make it more full. It's not super heavy. I mean, this is glass, but I would maybe put something in the base of this just to give it a little bit more weight. But other than that, I think it's, I think it, the flowers look super pretty. So, because I'm not good with real ones. So the next item that I got is this exfoliating back scrubber. I paid $2.15 for this. It is currently $2.48 for the pink color that I got. It is also available in blue, green, and a beige color. And the prices vary depending on the color, starting at 180 up, 188 and going up to 298. It is including the little handle parts. It is about 31 and a half inches long, and it is about three inches wide. The exfoliating texture I don't know what you want to call it is on both sides of it so it feels pretty darn cheap I haven't used it so right now it does feel kind of stiff like uh, I'm assuming that when it gets wet that that's gonna soften up a bit but I'm sure it'll do the job you know just scrub that old back <laughs> so yeah Next item I got is just this two pack of nail file blocks. I paid $1.67 for these. I did get a price adjustment. It comes in two colors, which makes no difference at all. The, the difference is uh, the set I got, it has this turquoise kind of color on it. And the other set has green instead of the turquoise. So this color here right now is $1.28. The green one is $1.68. They are about three and a half inches long and about an inch and not quite an inch this way. I know they're cheap, but they're really cheap. I, I don't know. It's just like a foam, piece of foam here. And then the various sides have been glued down on it. So you know it's okay it's fine I'll use it but yeah it's like super super cheap I mean I think uh, at most a dollar for the two of them would be more than enough to be paying for it so it is four-sided so it's got you know the labeled side one is for filing side two is for removing ridges from your nail Style three is for buffing your nails and or side, not style. Side three is for buffing and side four is for polishing and shining your nails. So I have used it, it does, it did work. It didn't necessarily feel like it was gonna last for very long, uh, I'm not sure. I just found that once I was finished with one hand, when I went to the other hand, I just felt like it was taking longer to get 
the results. So I'm not sure how long they will last, but they will do the job. So the next items I got were a gel polish uh, base coat and top coat. So it comes in the boxes like this. And then these are the pretty bottles. I've shown these bottles before because I got the uh, cat eye nail polish from this same brand. So they are thankfully labeled with base coat and no wipe top coat. Uh, I paid $5.48 for these and that is what they currently co cost, but I did get a price adjustment on them. So the base coat, it's just a base coat. Um, there is only one option for base coat. For top coat, there was three different options. I got the no wipe top coat and then there was a super top coat and a matte top coat. So for anybody else that doesn't know what no wipe top coat means, because I didn't, I had to look it up to see what it was referring to. I guess with gel nail polish, a lot of times top coats require you to wipe them down afterwards with uh, alcohol to clean or, or a cleaner to kind of clean them off. Otherwise they'll be like a little bit sticky or tacky. So this one does not require you to do that. Uh, I'm guessing, seeing as the super top coat doesn't say no wipe, that you would have to do that if you bought the super top coat, as well as the matte one. The super top coat uh, I thought about getting, but it says it lasts like over a month. And my nails, I think, would grow too fast for that. Like I would want it off before a month anyway, so I didn't necessarily see the point in that. So the fact that I didn't have to bother wiping this after using it, I figured I would just go with this one so they I used them and they worked well the base coat is definitely a thinner consistency than the top coat I don't know if that's the norm for base coat and top coat but they went on well and yeah I'm very happy with them oh, I just think these bottles are so pretty <laughs> they're like almost like a bit of a rainbow that you see in them so yeah super pretty not, I know that's not the reason you should be buying, why you should buy a particular kind of nail polish, but you know, it helps. <laughs> the next item I got was also another bottle of the same brand. This is a color changing gel nail polish. I paid $4.98 for this. I did get a price adjustment. Currently it is still $4.98 and it is available in 20 different color combinations. So. The one that I got is, if you can see, it's bizarre. Um, it color changes from kind of a nude pinkish color to black. So it is the pinkish color when it's warm and then it goes to the black color when it's cold. Why, <laughs> why these three nails? have black on the tip right now and the rest of my nails don't. I'm not really sure because you would think they would be fairly consistent in temperature, but they're not. But I did bring in some water so that I could show you the effects you can get with them. Um, it is kind of a neat idea, but honestly, while it's changing or if, you know, if your nails are longer than, than mine, and your tip stays dark like it can look a little messy that's that's for sure it can definitely look messy so i did bring in some cold water stick my finger in it <laughs> so so this here's the snail to begin with i will dip two i will dip both of these so this one the top the shiny coat seems not to be so shiny already and I'm not sure why but anyway so we'll dip these two and we'll see how quickly they change which was super quick in my freezing cold water so there we go and unfortunately with it going on kind of that pink color when it's warm uh, yeah it's hard to see where you're making a mess of your application and then when it goes black it's pretty evident <laughs> so my nails are not done the best. I don't do my nails very often, so I definitely need more practice on doing it neatly. So, but I will also then, I've got some warm 
water, warmer. It's not super warm at this point. But yeah, so there they are back to the pinkish color. And we'll stick it back in a cold one. <laughs> so now we're back to black. So yeah, it, it's definitely neat. I don't know how much I like it. I mean, if you look at those two fingers right now, I mean, that just looks kind of odd, right? Like it just looks like there's something wrong with me <laughs> or something wrong with my nails or they're dirty or, or something. So most of the other colors were more um, bright colors, you know, you would have. And some of them actually kind of the mid, let's see, here's this one's changing back. Like that doesn't look very nice, does it? I mean, it almost looks like I've got dirt under the tip of my nail and then I had like a bruise or something. I don't know. So a lot of the other ones have kind of, cause it's like cold to warm. So at the warmest point, it will be one color. At the coldest point, it will be another color. And then at the sort of in between part, it will be another color sort of in between. So like if you had like a, um, a, a darker pink at close to the your cuticles and then more like a yellow at the tip then you would get kind of like an orangey color at the center point potentially and it just looks super pretty right so I don't know I don't know if I will try another color because I feel like maybe the color colorful ones as opposed to the one this one that changes to the black maybe they would look a little bit nicer even if they're kind of splotchy <laughs> so because the black is just kind of odd and like I said I have no idea why these three are staying black at the tip and yet the other ones aren't it does say that it'll only like that ability for it to color change will only last so long it doesn't indicate what it will end up being so I don't know if it'll ultimately maybe be mainly black or mainly the pink or I don't know the next item I got is this floral cardigan um I don't I it is open it's not obviously not just a t-shirt I don't know that I would refer to this as a cardigan I think of a cardigan as something that is knit material and this is not knit I paid $16.19 for this. Uh, it's currently $17.99. This is the only color and pattern that it was available in. And it is available in only three sizes, 1XL, 2XL, and 3XL. I did something that I say don't do. I, I ordered without looking at the size chart. <laughs> so I ordered the 3XL because typically I get uh, 4XL, 3XL, or 4XL on Timo. And I thought, this only went up to the 3XL and so that was my best bet. Looking back at it, a 3XL is supposed to be a size 22, 24 US, which I wouldn't have ordered. I would have ordered the 2X if I'd looked at the size chart. It is made of 95% polyester, 5% elastane. It feels like nice material. I like it. It's not like a shiny material. It is kind of, you know, the whitish color on the inside, but other things that I've had that are like that, that the pattern on the outside is, I assume, printed onto the fabric. So the inner side is just white. I have a t-shirt that's like a camo print on the outside and then it's white on the inside, but it's like one of those kind of shiny uh, polyester shirts. So this is not like that. This is this is nice. This feels like it could have some cotton in it, even though I know it doesn't based on the tag. But yeah, it's super pretty, more kimono type, kimono type style uh, with the sleeves and stuff. Like I said, I bought the wrong size than what I would have bought. It works. I probably would have preferred it maybe a little smaller. So, but who knows the smaller size being an 1820 might have been too small I really don't know so super pretty color it did look a bit more pink on the listing whereas it's definitely more of a peachy pink in real life so and you'll see in my try on clip 
uh, how far down it comes to like just kind of butt area, butt height, butt area. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like the, the sleeves are kimono like and yeah, it's just open. There's no, there's no closures on it, no buttons or anything. And it kind of curves down at the bottom. So yeah, it's cute, nice material. I do like it. I think for the price, it is definitely a nice quality, nice material. So we'll see, see if I can figure out a way to style it, what I'll wear it with, but yeah, it is nice. Now, next item is also our last item and it is a dress. This again is a dress that my intent would be to wear it with leggings, more like a top. And it is this, they call it a lettuce trim dress. I don't know, I think it's this part that's supposed to be lettuce trim. I paid $20.48 for this. I did get a price adjustment. It is currently $18.39. This is the only color that it was available in, this peachy kind of color. And it is available in sizes 0XL through 4XL. I ordered the 3XL, which is by the size chart, the equivalent of a US 18. It is made of 100% viscose. So it is a nice lightweight fabric. It says for the wash instructions that you can machine wash it or dry clean it. Now, I wasn't 100% sure on viscose fabric. And when I looked it up, it did say that viscose fabric is prone to shrinking, especially like if you were to wash it in hot water. So it's prone to shrinking and it is also like the material is weak, weaker when it's wet. So I would recommend that you wash it on like probably a cool cycle, maybe a delicate cycle with it in a wash bag just to make sure it doesn't uh, shrink up on you or get damaged in the wash. It does have this smocking kind of detail here. So this part is stretchy and then it is v-neck. And then down near the bottom here, there is another seam with the lettuce trim, I guess, again. And it comes down to around about my knees, a little longer than I like for dresses that I'm gonna wear as a top, but it also has elasticated sleeves. Now, you'll see on my try-on clip how it fits. I think it's okay. I think there's areas where maybe I would have preferred it to be a little better fitted but I don't know that I could have sized down based on how it fits around my hip area. Also, these sleeves are kind of tight on me, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm also not sure about the color. What do you guys think? Do you think I suit this color? I feel kind of like it washes me out a bit. So, I don't know. Anyway, if I keep it, I would maybe try and alter it some. I'm not sure what I would do with the sleeves, whether I would take out the elastic that's currently in it and maybe put a bigger piece of elastic in it or whether I would maybe just remove the elastic and just have it be probably a little bit of a flared sleeve. So, but let me know what you think. Do you think I should hang on to it or do you think that it's just not very flattering? Because I'm really really kind of undecided on on this so I would love some opinions on whether or not you think it's worth keeping or whether I should return it because it is it's nice material it's soft I think it would be nice and cool in warmer weather like I think the material is just the kind that would be very breathable so and the other thing I'm not sure about is how badly the wrinkles are going to be for getting out it is really wrinkly so hopefully it's just because it's been shoved in a bag for a bit and that once i steam it or whatever to get the the creases out that it's not something that's just going to crease super easily and hopefully i'm not going to be dealing with a dress that's constantly creased like this because that would not be not be fun so anyway please let me know in the comments what you think whether or not you think i should hang on to this or not uh, let me know what you think of the other, the floral uh, cardigan as well, if you think it looks okay or not. 
but that is everything for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I know this was a little bit of a shorter one. Um, I'm sorry that I keep saying, um, <laughs> I'm trying not to, but clearly I'm not doing very well. So thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, uh, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. And we will see you next time. Bye.